Hi guys, it's Jay here. So today I'm going to do the BJD pass tag. Uh, this tag originated with AG Dolls Down Under. I'm sorry if that was supposed to be AG. Um, we should all know by now I'm terrible with usernames. Um, so I will link down to that original video below. Otherwise, let's get going. As a kid, I did play with a variety of dolls. Um, I had some baby dolls when I was really young that I played with. Um, two of them my aunt actually gave to me that she had played with when she was a kid. So I really treasured those for a long time. Even if I really, you know, outgrew the whole baby doll thing when I got old enough to realize that, ew. Um, but I also, in pretty much exclusively played with Barbies. I had this massive tub full of Barbies. It's like a huge plastic tub, maybe like much wider than I can show on my poor camera. Uh, and I was just full of Barbies and their clothes. And I had a couple of Ken dolls and they just all lived in the big tub. <laughs> um, for my Barbies, I also did have a Barbie house and a convertible, and I feel like one other car, but I don't remember what it was right now. As far as what was my most treasured toy, I don't really remember having a particular Barbie that I was super attached to. It was just like collectively Barbies. I think I had one that had like little fakey green jewels for eyes and I love that one. I did cut all of her hair off though. <laughs> uh, I remember in vague terms some of the stuff I did with my Barbies. <laughs> um, I guess Ken got murdered a lot when I still had Ken dolls. Yeah, he got murdered a lot um, for various reasons that I can't remember now. And my Barbies always got with each other instead of Ken. And I'm pretty sure Ken got with another Ken. Um, there was a point where I decided I hated Ken, so I destroyed all my Ken dolls. I like ripped all their legs off and threw them in the garbage. My parents were thrilled. But the big, the big point is all my Barbies got with each other. Um, I remember my friend and I had like this ongoing plot with our Barbies and there was a lot of magic involved and sorcery and when I was playing like by myself I would do some murder mysteries but always something supernatural was involved like Barbie was being haunted and when I got a little bit older all my Barbies had these weird orgies together. <laughs> Honestly, um, the more I think and talk about this, the more I'm like, yeah, I should have known I was gay a long time ago. Like I said, I was all, I was real heavily into Barbies even when I got older. I think when I got older, I started admiring some of the more collectible ones. I don't own any of them, but I always thought they were really pretty. Um, I'm also into porcelain dolls. I have a small collection of cheaper ones, but they're all very special to me for various reasons, including two that one of my grandmothers gave me that are really pretty. And they have to have kind of the right face. Um, that's not real specific, but some dolls just have like what I think of as derp face and BJDs have this problem too. And so I'm real picky about my porcelain dolls. Um, I also have my Sailor Moon Barbie collection. I mean, they weren't Barbie, but they were like Sailor Moon play dolls. I still have all of those in a box somewhere around here. And I've got a pretty decent collection of anime figures um, that live on top of my desk. And I also have this one little doll. It is a porcelain jointed doll. She's not ball jointed. But she's held together with wire and she's an antique and my grandmother gave her to me and so i really treasure that that was a special thing that she actually gave to me because of my interest in bjds so it's near and dear to my heart uh 
for about 90% of them, yeah. Um, Chronically Spaced and I have multiple stories we've been working on together for almost a decade now, and most of my dolls are shells for those characters. Um, that said, there's actually more of them than I thought that aren't related to that plot at all, because I have an impulse buying problem. <laughs> I have three that are part of a story I've been writing for a long time. Um, Lewis and Adam are from one and Aussie is from another one. I have four that were dolls before they were characters and that's Cupcake, Toby, Vincent, and Lilith I think. I'm pretty sure she was a doll before she became a character or maybe they came about at the same time I don't exactly remember. Then I've got three that aren't really characters, but I bought them for project purposes. And that's Scourge, who was my first mod project, uh, Lily, and Shimo. Shimo I actually bought because I loved that senior Del Uriel and I had to have him. And now it's become like, he's a ice mage and Lily is a sprite he summoned. And Chronically Space Ember is another sprite he summoned, so I need to do one for wind and one for water since they are earth and fire. <laughs> That's what I mean by their project project dolls, Shimo and Lily are. There are a couple things. I probably would have invested in a DSLR sooner so I could have learned to use it better than I know now. Uh, I've had it for a couple of years and I still just bumble with it and take shitty pictures, but I'm learning. I, I guess what I'm saying is I wish I could have learned sooner. Um, I also... <laughs> I also wouldn't take so many pictures of Cupcake and his really poorly made clothes that I did when I am chronically space and I first got into BJDs and I was like, oh hey, this one's been living under my bed, I'm gonna make some crappy jeans, I made a crappy kimono, and then I was real proud of him, but I look back on that a little bit and cringe. But it's, it's just a learning curve, right? And I suppose maybe, I don't know, being more brave and willing to take risks. <laughs> Even now I'm thinking about doing Vincent's face, but he still has the default dream of doll face up. And I might cry a little when I wipe it since they are no longer around. God no, damn I'm it! Ruining your video to <laughs> Vincent's face! I can't see you past my head. You gotta come in here. I'm ruining your video! <laughs> You're a dick! <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Oh, do you want to do that outro with me? You're done? I'm done, yeah. I was like almost done when you came home. Crouch down, you dingus. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is home. <laughs> and <Not> this. <laughs> And that was the BJD past tag because I copy everything this person does. And uh, I will see you guys next time.